Suez um, denk jy jylle moest al wie bykie die prijs betaal dat jylle nie die geleend hier in die eerste helft van die gebruik het nie? Ja, nee, jy weet dus uh, is al kreeg ek dink ons moest ons kanse gebruik het Ja, maar ek dink ons het ook genoeg gedoen om dat die game net op die einde te kon wen met baie goeie verdediging. So dis, dis die balans vir my, ja, maar ek is ons enige geweest, dat ons sel tyd maar die tyd, jy moes meer kanse gebind het, het jy weet. So, I mean, there are two games where you guys have lost now, the two South African teams. I mean, the, the, the Sharks game last year was the first one you'd lost in ages. And they were very similar, because in, in that game at Kings Park, if you can remember that, you guys should have won that game as well, you also dominated it. And then the Sharks came back. I remember it was a Lawazi and Bobo intercept, I think, at the end. <laughs> At my age, that's too far back, eh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but I mean... Yeah, but you're right. Uh, you're right. It's just so disappointing. I thought half time, we tactically, we played well. We, you know, we knew they would come uh, after what happened at Loftus. They would come with everything they have. And uh, we were ready. We were prepared. But but congratulations to Robbie and his team uh, for fighting right to the end in the 84th minute. And for surviving the Malcolm Mark steals at the end, I don't know how long must you steal for to steal a ball, but uh, that was good from from them, and I'm I'm glad for Flecky. I saw I spoke to him before the game. There's lots of pressure on him, so for his sake, I'm I'm glad. Coach, uh, just your your opinion on the last 10, 15 minutes. Are you happy with the the decision making of of the refs, and are you cool with that? Yeah, you know what? What I've learned, I uh, I just said it. Tongue in the tongue in the kiss of Afrikaans. I said that was you can never do the refs. It's a ni. You must you must your fouten is right mark. All is mensa. All is net as ek en jy. You weet, Egan is a great speler geweest. Hy verstaan die game. So dit sal totaal onregverdig vir my wees om uitspraak te gee enigsins in enige manier oor oor sy vertooning. Yes, ja, as jy jy ken vir Waza, hy is een ongelooflike mens en leier en hy is so'n beheer. Uh, hy, dit is, dit was vir ons baie sleg, of dit is vir ons sleg die feit dat hy af is. Jy het sy emotie gesien op die einde. Hy is so passievolle type en hy is so totale leier. Dit, dit was vir ons erg gewees. Maar dan is ek net so trots op jou ons as Elton en, en Kwaghalle wat ingestaan het, hulle leierskap was goed. Ons sal hoor, uh, dit lyk nie vir my te positief nie, uh, ek het nou sy reaksie in die kleedkamer gesien, uh, kom ons hoop om bid, dit, dit, dit gaan het alright wees, maar ons sal maar kyk. Coach, you just, uh, you spoke about the fault, so, do you feel that the entire game was looking for the fault, across the 70 minutes? Yeah, watching Super Rugby the first two weeks, there is a lot of, uh, it's early days, you know, there is in all the teams, it's sort of, we can't get going, Defensive systems right through the spectrum has improved, and the the guys are the, there's just no, not enough space anymore to attack from the you know and 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 the pressure is so much on the carrier that it's it's very hard to uh, to minimise your mistakes to do that. And it's still sitting here. Yeah, it's still humid. It's sweaty. It's 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 still not that easy. It's it's, it's tougher for the players out there than we think. What do you make of your pack's performance, coach? Yeah, I thought they were superb. Uh, up to a stage, and then uh, our discipline went. So, uh, honest, honestly, are you happy that trainers start arguing with your players on the field? I mean, that's not part of the game, is it? <coughs> in opposition, trainers start arguing and showing signs to your players on the field? <laughs> I don't want to comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you must know you've got to be careful sitting in the hot seat what you say, so rather no comment. So, <laughs> how did you feel about the... Um, uh, what happened at that conversion that SPA took at the end? Um, you know, from where we sat, it was quite difficult to see. Um, you know, whether uh, um, the guys, the Lions guys, felt that it already started. Right? Yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to go and look. What does the law say? Once you start your run up, your, your intent is to kick, and he was very flat under the sticks. And yeah. we did give the call to the guys that uh, he's not, you know, put pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, that's history. <laughs> so, so um, there's been it's been a weird, weird first two weeks in a way. I mean, the mm. performance lost last week heavily, You're right. and maybe there, there was like a very hysterical reaction, certainly in the media, to to that result. And then today, John Plumtree's team got got really badly beat, beaten by by the, by the Crusaders, and the Chiefs were were completely outplayed by the Brumbies. 
I mean, what what is going on at this early stage of the Super Rugby? Should we be reading, we reading too much into it, or is it just that because it's a World Cup year, everybody's starting a bit inconsistently? Yeah, it's hard to say. I, did, I had this discussion with Flecky before the game. You know, the, the results that came through is, is weird. And uh, I can't pinpoint that, uh, what, what, the, what, what the reason is for that. What I did know, that 43 result at Loftus uh, was definitely uh, a thing that, 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 that you can't well, uh, be held against the team and I knew they would bounce back. It was a once-off. Thanks, guys. Donkey. Donkey. Donkey.